We've all seen the articles about Bozeman in Forbes, Outside Magazine, Powder Magazine, talking about Bozeman as a must-see place, as well as the growth we've seen here in recent years. As a result, many, many people are relocating here from much milder winter climates. I have lived back east, in the Midwest, and throughout the West, so I thought I'd give you the lowdown on winters here in Bozeman and how they're different from other cold weather locations. Let's talk temperature. Our coldest months are typically December and January with an average high of 33 and a low of 12. You'll wanna watch my video on five reasons not to move here for even more info on that, which I've also linked below. Average temps in the warmer months are around 73 degrees on average with the hottest month being July with an average high of 83 and a low of 50. The cold season gives us an average daily high in the mid to high 30s overall and an average low of 14 degrees. We are in an arid mountain region, meaning that the average humidity level doesn't vary much throughout the entire year, like you may find in eastern and midwestern parts of the US. Our perceived humidity level hovers around zero pretty much year round. That's one of the reasons Bozeman and Gallatin County are such a popular place for outdoor winter activities. If you're coming from the East Coast or Midwest, you'll be pleasantly surprised by our lack of humidity. Snowfall, it varies widely depending on where you're located in our valley. There can be just a dusting on the west sides and up to several inches on the south side of town, just a couple minutes away. And double or triple that in the Bridgers or other canyon areas outside of town. Now let's talk about some tips for enjoying the winters here. Number one, winters are a long haul. There's no getting around it. Snow often starts around October, sometime around Halloween. And at that time, the mindset shifts to winter activities, skating, skiing. People are buttoning up their gardens in September and some of the smaller nurseries actually start their end of season sales after July 4th. I hate to break it to you. That was a shocker to me at first, but when you think about it, trees and shrubs need a good amount of time to get established before our ground freezes, so it really does make sense, and you'll get used to it. We can often plant our trees and some shrubs through mid-October, but it really does depend on what the weather's doing during that particular year. It's really important to find winter activities that make you happy to wait out our long winters. If you don't like or cannot do winter sports, bundling up and walking on the sunny side of Main Street, meeting a friend for coffee each week, can be just what the doctor ordered. There's also lots of local activities that don't require a lot of exertion, such as our winter farmer's market, ice dog hockey games, skijoring events, and other fun activities that you can watch. If you don't have the ability to get away for a break during our winter or the early spring months, Taking a visit to one of the many, many hot springs we have across the state can often do the trick for you. Bozeman Hot Springs is just west of town. Chico Hot Springs is to the southwest, south of Livingston in Paradise Valley. And of course, there are many secret and not so secret wild spots around our area due to our unique geography. Taking a cross-country ski or snowmobile day trip is also another great choice. Big Sky also has some fun sleigh rides during the holiday season. You'll want to invest in six pairs of boots. In the description below, I briefly share why six is the magic number, and also take a look at my video where I break down the six boots, plus one bonus. Our mudrooms and foyers are the workhorses in our homes. Every household get has lots and lots of gear year round when you live here in Montana. So if you set yourself up with quality gear, you'll be set for many years. And we do have several options for high quality secondhand goods as well, such as Second Wind Sports, Play It Again Sports, Bob Ward's on the north side of town has some great past season sales. And don't forget our famous ski swap every year where there are racks and racks of good quality winter clothes and accessories at really great price points. Number three, get ready to drive in winter weather. I like to say that an all wheel or four wheel drive is a necessity and you also may wanna keep a small shovel and blanket in your car in case you land in a ditch. Now Montanans are happy to pull you out of that ditch without hesitation, but if you get into a bind, it's still a good idea to be prepared 
maybe even carry a toe strap. Lastly, regarding the weather, when looking to buy a home here, you'll want a solid home inspection during that process to understand how well the home is insulated and prepared for our northern climate. Updated windows, insulated crawl space are just a couple of the things that that home inspector will be looking for. And I can also help you with utility costs, vendors, and ways to keep your property warm and dry. I have a solid understanding of home construction and often preview homes for people moving here that aren't in the area if they're not able to get here right away, but see a property they really like. I also work with several great home inspectors, contractors, and handymen, so I can give you referrals as well. Here's another tip. Try to avoid north-facing driveways if possible. While we get about 300 days of sunshine a year here, way more than the northern Kalispell and Flathead regions, if your driveway can see some direct sun during the day when the snow is lower, it will melt off faster and not be as icy. This also applies when looking at homes in canyons. Some locations in the canyons have much shorter summers and colder, shadier winters due to the sun exposure. These are just a few of the things we can discuss if we meet and you are thinking of moving here.